When we rose to crush the fallen, it was I who showed them mercy. A House of Wolves starts uh, with a betrayal. The House of Wolves have risen up against the queen and uh, attacked her guards. And now the queen is deciding to make a change to open up the reef for all guardians to come and collect bounty. Now, they will feel my wrath. Attention, guardians. This is Petra Venge of the Awoken Royal Guard. Throughout the story, Petra, she's the voice for the queen. She'll be sending you on the main story missions to hunt down the main bad guy, Skolas. I'm the queen's blade. Your hunt begins with me. Rather than just have the one story character, we introduce a whole new area, the social space of the reef. Take a walk around. You'll find some interesting allies here. There are multiple different characters in there, each with their own perspective. I can help you find the wolves. And you just have to go to the reef and see new quest givers. That's a really interesting way to both expand the universe and tell a compelling story. The team really wanted to explore more activities for the player, new weapons, armor, and gear to earn. House of Wolves will stand forever. Once you've completed the story, the Prison of Elders opens up to you, and Varix is your guide through that. It's a gladiator arena inside this prison where the most nefarious criminals in the universe live. The arena is all about getting straight to the action. You can match make into it using all of your weapons and all of your skills. Fight, kill, survive. If you want to ratchet up the difficulty to an ultra hard difficulty mode, then you need to form a fire team. And the rewards, of course, ratchet up as well. We have Brother Vance, who is a vendor specifically for the Trials of Osiris. The wolves will test them, make them ready for the trials. Trials of Osiris provides the PvP endgame experience, so players can go up against the best in the world and get rewarded with the best gear. The elimination game type is probably the most intense game type we have in Destiny right now. You bring your pre-made fire team, it's 3v3, no respawns, so you're trying to wipe out the enemy team. When they're all dead, round's over. So there's three new PvP maps in House of Wolves, Black Shield, Widow's Court, and Thieves' Den. Black Shield takes place on Phobos, one of Mars' moons. It's an abandoned cabal outpost. It tends to play really well for control and also nicely for skirmishing. Widow's Court is an asymmetrical map that takes place in the European dead zone, and it features long sniper lines as well as close quarters battles. Thieves' Den takes place in an abandoned fallen outpost in an active volcano. The really interesting part is the center of the map that you end up fighting on and around quite a bit because it's the focal point and the midline. The new strike is called the Shadow Thief, and it takes place on the fallen catch on the moon. Tracking another fallen captain who's gone rogue. You meet him several times and he taunts you up. So it's not just about waves of enemies, it's not just about one culminating boss battle. A lot of people want to take their Fate Bringer or their weapons or gear from the Vault of Glass or Crota's End and they want to still use it. So all legendary gear, weapons, armor can be brought up to level 34. House of Wolves offers players tons of new variety. New guns, new gear is really important. We want new exotics out in the mix. Queen's Wrath is returning. We got Fallen themed stuff, Cyrus themed stuff. Great thing about Destiny is it doesn't stop with House of Wolves. 
You're building this character that is going to persist into the future. Let the hunt begin.